It's playoff time. Welcome into sports, everyone. Yuma Catholic boys and girls soccer kicking off their postseason campaigns earlier tonight in the 3A play-in tournament. We begin with the girls. It would be the 21st seeded Lady Shamrocks up first at a rainy Ricky Gwynn Stadium as they hosted the 12 seeded Scottsdale Prep Spartans. First half free kick for Scottsdale Prep. Blake Wolf shot deflected and it's a good save from Ashley Saldivar and YC gets a clear. 25th minute, the Rocks play short. Janessa Lugo sending it in the goalkeeper, making a mess of it off the line, off the post. It's still bouncing around, and eventually the referee says it went over the line at some point in that sequence. Not sure when, but either way, it's 1-0 Yuma Catholic. Later in the half, YC in possession. Amora thrower shooting, deflecting, bounces off the keeper, and Genesee Melendrez there with the follow-up. It's 2-0 Rocks now. We go on to the second half. Lugo winning it here. She's going to go for the chip in, and she gets it. What a goal there. Yuma Catholic leads 3-0 with less than 20 minutes to go. However, Scottsdale Prep, well, they had scored twice in the final few minutes of the match. They're looking for an equalizer here. Maeve Morgan playing it to Wolf, who eventually is going to have a go of it from distance. This could tie the game. But that curls wide. Yuma Catholic hangs on to win it 3-2. to two. After the match, we catch up with head coach Emilio Lugo and captain Janessa Lugo. I'm super proud. Um, we've been working throughout the season. Uh, we started kind of slow. But last season we were region champs. That was a couple days ago. This is a whole new tournament. And we, we told the girls, hey, mentality is all about this game. And uh, I was kind of nervous at the end. They, they, those kick balls... I thought we were going to make a mistake and they would tie the game. Um, I was excited. It's been two years. No, a year. Last year we didn't pass. Um, I was excited that we actually won. Um, I got scared for a while because they were getting at us, but we got it. So. What and the rain really started to pick up when the boys game kicked off right after the Shamrocks coming in as the 10 seed, the visiting Horizon Honors Eagles as the 23 seed. Early in the first half, Gene Lagarde surging forward, cutting onto his right, playing it through for Esteban Hernandez, who passes into the net. Yuma Catholic ahead 1-0 within 10 minutes. On to the 22nd minute, Ruben Perez inside the box on his left foot. Shoots across the goal here, but this one saved. Van Winburn there to clean it up, and it is 2-0 right after the botch save. A few minutes later, Lagarde whipping in a free kick here, headed clear, but only as far as Adriel Casas, who smashes it off the goalkeeper and into the net. The goalkeeper getting a hand to it, but can't keep the ball out, and it's three for the Rocks now. Less than a minute later, YC with a penalty, and Takeo Imai slots it into the back of the net. Yuma Catholic on top, 4 nothing before halftime, and they would dominate all night long as they take a 7 nothing victory. They advance to the State 3A tournament. To some boys hoops action over at Raider Gym as Cibola welcomed in local rival San Luis on up to Yuma. Starting in the third quarter, San Luis's Justin Barraza driving here, then giving down low to Salvador Rodriguez. Sidewinders down big, but that bucket helping the cause. Cibola with it here. Wyatt Norred inbounding, gets it to Maddox Harmony quickly, putting this one up and in for the basket. Raiders continuing to pour onto their big lead. All right, now we go to an odd play here. Norred finding Brigham Holt down court. He throws up an alley-oop, but it actually ends up in the hoop. Maybe the weirdest bucket of the year, but it's still good for two either way. Later, San Luis back with the Alejandro Cordova, dishing to Alejandro Ramirez, who floats this one up and in. That's good. Sidewinders trying to get something going, but nothing would really materialize tonight. Harmony finding a wide open Holt beyond the arc here. That's a splash. Raiders add on three more. It would be all Cibola in this one. Raiders go on to win it 68 to 30. Sidewinders finish their season at four and 13. Raiders, however, was still two games left before the postseason. And to the girls version of this matchup out in San Luis earlier tonight, Lady Raiders coming out on top 95 to 28. Sierra Baumhauer leading the way for Cibola with 25 points, six steals, four of rebounds and three assists. And with that, that is all the time we have for sports.